Hey, I'm Bryony Kennedy and our seasonal sets include the Eye Radiance Kit. Now what I love about this particular set that we've put together is that anybody can use these colours. They're versatile, they're easy to blend and they're really soft and subtle on the eyes. Now it includes our Eyelid Prep and Prime which of course will act as a base, get rid of all the veins, um, give an even canvas to start with but it makes the eyeshadow super super easy to blend and helps the eyeshadow stay put. Now it's also including the Invincible eyeshadow which is a beautiful colour to use underneath the brow bone or to even highlight the inner corners of the eyes and of course the popular Pink Pearl and Charity. So it's all about pink this season and giving the skin a really natural radiance and this paired with one of the seasonal sets for the cheeks will be absolutely gorgeous. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is put on the Eyelid Prep and Prime. Now, it's a cream-based product. You just put a little bit on. You don't need more. More doesn't necessarily mean better results, just remember. Um, and what this does, as you can see, is it just gives a nice, even canvas to start with. It means that your eyeshadow will be true and correct to the actual color in the pot and won't be distorted by the color of your eyelids, which might have red or blue veins throughout. So it just gives a more even look for the eyeshadow as well. All right, so we've got our eyelid prep and prime on and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a very quick classic eye. Now this would look quite intense if the darker shades were used but in this instance this is something that everybody can do and it's super pretty. All right so using the 15 piece brush kit I am going to use the number six brush which is a flat brush okay and I'm now going to put on the charity color and all I'm doing is just dipping that much and then I'm using the lid to press not to shake it off or tap it off but to press more of it into the the bristles I'm now going to emulate a C or a backward C on this eye so it's starting on the last outer corner of the eye going up towards the brow and then back into the crease of the eye, but also slightly onto the brow bone. So we've got a little C happening here. Now I'm not going to worry about uh, worry about blending this. We're just going to get the shape correct, and I'm going to show you how our eyeshadows self blend for you. Now, if you go down further than the eye, that's okay. You can just gently sweep that up because we don't want eyeshadow to fall below the edge of your eye and the edge of your brow. If it does, it's going to drag your eye down. So even if you feel like you need to hold a tissue underneath your eye or hold a finger like this while you're doing your C, just so you've got a guide as to not go down. If you do, grab the trusty Kabuki brush and just sweep up and that will get rid of that droopy look. Okay, now let's get to the other side of the eye again using the flat top amazingly super soft vegan brush number six. And we're going to again just follow the eye corner of the eye up to the brow and then along the brow bone but also into the socket. So it's what I call a classic eye that most people can do. Even the hooded eyes, ladies, you just might need to take this up a little bit further to create the illusion of an eyelid. And that's essentially what this classic eye does. It gives the illusion of a separate lid to the brow bone. All right, so looking back and forth, making sure that you've got the same level of height or if you, your eyes are a little bit uneven, adjust it so that the eyeshadow is the same height and that can correct uh, eyes that might not be completely symmetrical. All right, so you can see up close that you can see all the edging. I've not done any blending and that's totally cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to blend this with an eyeshadow. So there's none of this messing around and causing smudgy looking eyes. But in saying that you can't do that with these eyeshadows anyway. Now I'm going to grab the number seven which is also a flat brush. Um, you might like to also use one of the other round brushes if you wanted to but when I'm pressing my colors on I tend to like to use the flat brushes. Now I'm grabbing the pink pearl which is a beautiful soft color 
this particular look, as I said, will suit any eye color, in particular blue eyes, uh, anything that's a coral sort of a base or a pink sort of base will really make blue stand out. Now, placing the pink pearl in the corner, in the ball of my eye just here. So the ball of my eye I refer to as almost if my eyes were shut, it would be going over my iris area. Okay, so if I was to shut my eye, look, I'm going over my whole iris area. Now what this does, as you can see, see on this side, you can see it's not blended and we want to blend that, but rather than just waste time with it, just a brush, we're actually using the eyeshadow to blend for us. So we're placing the lighter color, believe it or not, we're not starting with the lighter color, we're ending with the lighter colors. So we're actually placing this lighter color over the top of the darker color in the ball and look at that, it's self blended. Love it. All about time saving and making things super effortless. Now you could do this same technique with darker colors, but I would probably recommend maybe don't do your makeup first in case you get a little bit of fallout, do your eyes first and then do your makeup second. All right, so again, we're going to go over the ball of the eye, which is effectively the iris and pupil area. And look at that, it's self blended for me. That's amazing. Awesome. Simple. Okay, now what we're going to do is grab another brush. Okay, we're going to grab uh, which one do we want? We want really whatever you want. We're going to get the smaller of the dome brushes, which I believe is number eight. Okay, so see how when I say dome, it's a round brush and it's also round that way. And now we're going to use the beautiful Invincible. Invincible is sort of like a an earthy an earthy silver, definitely not a really um, highlighted silver. And we don't wanna to go too white because that can actually make puffy eyes look worse. All right, so what we're going to do is now use the Invincible to blend away this line here and this line here. So we're just placing it on. So notice I don't rub really any of my eyeshadows, I pat them all on. And that keeps the pigment true it doesn't overstretch the pigment and also makes the eyeshadows last longer because you've given them um, a more compact color rather than stretching and distorting the color of the eyeshadow. So look at that, a perfectly blended eyeshadow that I've not even blended. I've just placed the darker color first, second darkest, and then the lightest. And it's blended it for me. So this little trick is something that I'm sure if you practice, you'll absolutely think, Thank goodness, now I finally know how to do it. So watch this one. I'm just gonna place the Invincible over the top of that and miraculously it's going to blend away. And what I love about the Invincible too is that it actually really gives super defined brows. So being a lighter color and a slight shimmer, it will give the, a slight lift to your eyebrow. It'll give a more structured looking eyebrow. So it's a really good color for that. Now, the only reason I wouldn't use the Invincible is if you had super puffy eyes, it would just accentuate that. Remember light things and shimmery things make things look bigger. So it may not be ideal in that instance. You may like to replace this particular shade with say our base eyeshadow, which is more of a matte nude. All right. so. Now, to make myself look like I've actually had a bit of sleep, I'm now going to put this in the corner of my eyes. And this not only, this little trick not only makes you look like you've had a bit more sleep, but it also, for people who've got closer set eyes, will make them look further set. So it'll give more symmetry to the eyes by putting a lighter shade in the middle here. Now for the younger girls, you could probably put this Invincible down at the bottom here as well. For, for us mature ladies, that might accentuate fine lines. So I just like to stick it to the middle part of my eyes. And that's it. A beautiful, super easy, radiant look for the eyes. It really makes blue eyes pop. But as you can see, even with brown and green and any of the hazel eyes, it's a super easy color. Really good for the novices to start with. It's an easy color to use just for daily work. It's a pretty color. Um, and of course, you could also use these same shades for lip stains. You could also try them on your cheeks as well. And of course, you can use any of the eyeshadow brushes in the range, whether it's our seven piece, the smaller brush 
kit or the la larger brush kit. So have some fun and enjoy these seasonal sets.